Okay. Well, Eric put your partner, Michael, on the chopping block. Right. Then you nominated Eric and his partner, Maggie. Right. Are your nominations, in a way, payback for Michael's eviction? Um, in a way, they are. Uh, there was many things I wanted to do this week. I wanted to send a ripple, you know, through this household, and I think I did that. I wanted to... Um, it was sort of retribution for what happened to Michael, and I went to sort of... It was payback. I feel like he was wronged. Yeah, well, your nominations definitely created a big stir in the house. <laughs> Do you think this will make you a target? I think um, if they know what's best for them, I think it will definitely make me a target next week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Kaser. And you can head back downstairs to the living room. Okay, thank you, Julie. You're welcome. From secret pairs to surprising revelations, the house guests are coming clean. How is everyone reacting now that the truth is starting to come out? We'll be right back. Welcome back to Big Brother 6. Secrets are being revealed, pairs are stepping forward, and house guests are opening up. But what is all this new information doing to everyone's strategy? From day one when Rachel and I moved into this house, we knew that we were the only pair, but I just had this sense that something was out of place in the house and that people knew each other, and I, I had suspicions, but we didn't know for sure. After the veto competition, Eric came in here the house, you know, like a bat out of hell. Sarah, don't think I don't know you with James either. We needed to change the subject. Why don't we get everyone you? down here? kind of settled down a little bit and started um, sharing some secrets. I can't even look at anybody oh, the weird. same anymore. <laughs> Are, all liars. Are you really a teacher? I don't even have a college degree. I still want to be a professor. That's all true. How old are you for real? 29. And out of everyone, James has lied the most. I'm James. I'm 27. I'm a, I was a high school teacher. He has lied about Sarah, of course, which I know we all lied about coming, you know, with the pair. If Eric no. and I spill the beans, will everyone who has admitted that they're paired up spill the beans yes. too? Yes. I will. You should have known who the couples were weeks ago. You know, people really want to do hear it from the horse's mouth. Maggie and I have known each other for a number of years. And Maggie is like an aunt to my children. I need, I need Xanax. <laughs> I was absolutely shocked to find out that everybody in the house had a pair. Absolutely. I go out the next okay. Ashley and I met last summer. We had mutual friends and we became friends because we were in Europe together. I moved in with her when I moved to Miami from LA. Okay, sir, how do you and Michael know? Um, we met at a coffee shop. He tried to show off and like talk to me in Arabic because he knows Arabic too. He is a good guy. I know he is. I know he is. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay. Fess up. next. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never seen her before. <laughs> It's about 10 years ago. <laughs> when I found out that Rachel and Howie knew each other for 10 years, I was really shocked. <laughs> Who did we not figure out yet? So, April, so do you want to reveal something? No. <laughs> Jennifer and I do not know each other. They don't? Really? No. no. My first reaction was to deny everything. Actually, I have no idea who Bo is. Me and Rachel, we know each other. Eric and Maggie, they know each other. James and Sarah. Janelle and Ashley and Kesa and Michael. It's kind of weird. You got these five couples and then four uh, wild cards. April and Jen didn't know each other. You know, Vet and Bo didn't know each other. Yeah, right. You don't have anybody. Do you understand that? You have someone that you're playing for. You're doubled up now. You have more reason to play, more reason to fight. Ah! I was just like, keep it up, homegirl. Do it for the team. You know, I was very happy that she kept it up and I was just kind of like silent. You got the strongest people, and we are at a disadvantage. Do you understand how bad that sucks? And the Oscar goes to me. I'd like to thank uh, everybody at BB6, my mother, my father. Hopefully, I can pull this off, huh? You Thank swear you. to God, you don't know each other? I swear to God. Why would we lie? Oh my God! <laughs> I'm saying, no. I swear! I swear! I swear! I swear! April kept on insisting she didn't know Jennifer. She was just gonna lie and lie and lie and lie. I am not gonna sit here and lie and say that her and I are friends. At this point, I've just got to deny it, which is really, really, really hard. They're gonna come after us either way because if we're gonna tell them, we have to tell them today. If we open up before Bellamy vet, I think we have something going for us. You know what I'm saying? 
Dill is, is Jennifer and I do know each other, <laughs> but we don't know each other. We've seen each other tw once, twice, in our whole lives. I barely know this bitch. I think without them knowing how Jennifer and I know each other in our full, full story, I think they really believe in the long run Jennifer and I will backstab each other. That's not going to be the case. I say we know each other, but we don't know each other. The only reason I haven't said anything is because I have not talked to her. She why I can't trust anyone now. Are you and Bo together, Yvette? Huh? Bo and I were put together. But I don't know Bo, like, per se. You know what? Yes. The truth is, I came in here with Bo. But they're going to get half of our story. I think I know the reason they found Bo for me, but I'll say that one another day. She had this crap-eaten grin on her face that you would have to surgically remove. And all of a sudden, bink, light dawns over Marblehead. Are you gay? You're both gay. Too. I'm not saying anything. Come on. I'm gay. There. How do you like those apples? You want to know my girlfriend's name? What? Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> a big tsunami of secrets came out in one day. I need a drink. <laughs> No, the secrets are not all out in the house. Expect the unexpected. Dun, dun, dun. Will it be Eric or Maggie walking out the front door? Tonight's live eviction is next. The vote is now tied two to two. Let's see what happens when Bo, James, Howie, Yvette, and Rachel cast their votes. It's hard for me to choose between the two of them. I'd want to keep Eric because he's my captain. He's my backbone in this game. You guys just had a ludicrous uh, manner of uh, ruling around here and dictatorship. Who wants to listen to this guy? Lights out, lunchtime, dinner time, do the dishes now. You know what? Kiss my butt, pal. He's been such a, a leader, and you need a good leader. He's a cult leader, you know, where these people are just giving up their lives to follow, follow him blindly. While I like both of them equally, I have to make a decision. Maggie has now become the girl version of Eric. I can look in her eyes and know that she's telling me the truth. I cuss and joke about other house members, and then when I do it to her, she just can't take, you know, how I didn't appreciate that. I really don't like that, and she doesn't got a sense of humor. I vote to evict Maggie. I vote to evict Eric. I vote to evict Maggie. I vote to evict, um, let's uh, Eric. It's not personal. Bottom line, I'm watching out for myself. Welcome back to Big Brother 6. In just a few moments, another house guest will be evicted. Will it be Eric, the firefighter originally from Boston, Massachusetts, or his partner, Maggie, the emergency room nurse from Las Vegas, Nevada? It's time to hear from this week's two nominees. Eric, Maggie, both of you are nominated for eviction tonight. You now have an opportunity to say some final words to your housemates. Eric, why don't you go first? Okay. Uh, I just first want to thank Big Brother for the opportunity of a lifetime that has been given to me, and I appreciate it deeply. Uh, I have had the opportunity to have the experience of meeting new friendships that will last way outside these walls and made some friendships that have been there all the time even stronger. 